Communication can be kind of an important thing. For me, well, it really does alternate though. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Um, so what I mean by that is that communicating can be very, very important regardless of the situation. However, for me specifically, whenever I try to communicate through text, things have a tendency to not work out. Verbal communication is probably where I sit on strong suit front. When I discuss things amongst others, it can either sh it can show me for sure if the whole thing is being verbally discussed instead of gone going back and forth with like messages, whether text or sound messages or whatever it might be. Having verbal conversations has, for me definitely works things out a lot more easily. Um, now, t the reason for this is because whenever I like read text or I like I don't ver verbally hear things and verbally don't discuss things, I have a tendency to misinterpret a lot. Now, that maybe this is just me. It could. It probably just is only me. I don't know, but regardless. It's just something I've noticed. I'm not very in touch with non-verbal communication. It's become bigger over time, for sure. But it's just something I can't get a grip on and cope with. I think a good example of a re one, the reasoning behind this would be the term, I'm fine. Now, a lot of the time when I hear the term I'm fine verbally, it's always a bad thing. Well, not always, but a lot of the time it is a bad thing. It means I'm not okay. You'll, like, someone will say the term I'm fine, but they'll say it something like this. I'm fine. What are you going to take that as good? If someone, is, if someone by, based off the tone, if somebody takes that as good, they need to study how to read those kind of statements because that at that tone is not good and for the most part the term I'm fine comes from that and it's the same for a couple different terms so when I read a text that says I'm fine I'm going to think it's bad before good unless somebody adds the term and I actually do mean it I'm okay like saying I'm okay that has never been interpreted as bad. And if it has, it's not, it's barely ever. But this is why nonverbal communication can cause bigger problems than verbal. And this is why I communicate better with verbal communication. In fact, many of the relationships, whether it's a significant other, a past friend, or um, family type relationship, whatever it might be, or business relationship, whenever it's discussed amongst, whenever it's a, a topic discussed amongst all through words, things go so much more smoothly when I'm involved. But if it's done amongst each other through messaging, I try to stay out of that as much as I can. I don't know. I've never been good with nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication and verbal communication have their big differences. Nonverbal is just a lot more convenient because it's a lot quicker. As a, like I, I've shot out quite a few. I've shot a few bat, uh, cons at nonverbal communication. That doesn't particularly mean that there's no good in it. In fact, some things that verbal communication doesn't have that nonverbal communication does have that I find convenient would be the speed that I can go at. Especially for the women I've met. Holy crap, women type... They type and text things like... Like they're the Flash. I'm like, how do you do that? Like, that's all that seems to go through my head when I see stuff like that. But it is what it is. I mean, come on, dude. Would, I don't even know how to feel about it sometimes. And I approach the kind of situation, I'm like, well then. The conveniency of nonverbal communication, for one, the speed that it takes. And even like through verbal communication, sometimes it can take longer depending on the situation. 
Um, another, I think another thing that non-verbal communication has that verbal communication doesn't is that sometimes you can reach, you can actually give out patience. You, like, any kind of messaging system, whatever it might be. You message someone, and sometimes it'll take them a while to respond. At least you're not, like, sitting there on hold for hours on end waiting for the response. Instead, hey, how you doing? Person's asleep. Uh, they must be tired. Wait, wait, working, working. Ding! Oh, there it is. Like, two hours later. Instead of just, like, sitting on the phone. Ding, ding. You woke me up! What the heck? So that's another pro, I think, for non-verbal communication. Is that... As long as you have the amount of patience, time is not really much of a factor. As long as it's not a business thing. But that's, you know, usually why businesses are usually calls and not messages. If they're downright necessary. Now I've given two pros and two cons contradictive for each verbal and non-verbal communication. I definitely prefer verbal because, again, as I said at the beginning of this, I cope with it a lot better. But it's also probably because I'm old school. Heck, if people still had, um, if people still paged each other and still had those box phones from way back when, I would be satisfied. I wouldn't care. Who knows what I'm talking about, though? Box phone. Like, those huge white boxes that you would hold them up to your ear like this and just be like, Hello? It's pay phones. How many people use those nowadays? Things like that. Like, those are kind of the category where I would stick and I wouldn't have a problem. But I don't know. That's kind of where I, I sit when it comes to my comfort zone on those. Now, I can adapt very easily. Adapting into messaging isn't that hard to do as long as I understand who I'm messaging. Like, that's another thing. For nonverbal communication, you have to understand the person you're talking to, otherwise it's not going to go well. This is something I've also understood. But I don't know. I'm not going to go too much on a tangent on this. This is, this is my perspective on verbal versus nonverbal communication. How about you guys? Do you guys have any other added details you'd like to throw in, or what is your guys' opinion? Which do you prefer, nonverbal or verbal communication? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this kind of content, you like these discussion and rants, or I guess about me videos if you count this as an about me, I would prefer to call this a discussion and rant. Either way, click the links on the side of my head if you want to check out any other videos like this one. Check out the channel if you're interested in skits, um, kind of just goofy related things, or gaming content with a first time playthrough, or comedic. In the meantime though, I'm gonna head off. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. And I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.